Welcome back to the Gamological Institute Studios. Today we're going to take a look at this game right here. The Mariana Trench. Well, thanks for that, Skipper. Let's take a look at the Mariana Trench. It's a game by Thomas Layton, illustrated by Tristan Rosin. We have the instruction manual. We've got the expansion, Creatures from the Deep. So this is pretty cool. Uh, some great art on those cards. Got the tokens, and we've got cards in here. I did a little pre-arranging for this. So we have the trench floor. We are research researchers going down with our subs. We got to watch out for running out of oxygen. Three, two, one. Game ends when all those cards have been played. Our subs immediately come back to the top. Up to the research ship. We have the frog fish, frog fish research sub, and we have the shrimp. Um, and we have a scoring reference card about how you score. I'll show you how these cards work in a minute. It's really a really cool uh, mechanism for multi-purpose on the cards. We'll show that. And uh, I just got to point out there was this cool little expansion that came in it too, the Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. So we've got this different art that you'll see some pictures of. So there is a new creature set. We've got these uh, air breathing fish that could be in the column of water as you're exploring. And then we've got the, the normal ones. We've got a manta ray, a colacanth. Got to watch out for the giant squid. And we've got angler fish. We've got a lot of various cards. Cards during the game are gonna be laid down. So you get down to 5,000 or five leagues down, 5,000 feet to the bottom, and your research vessels are going to be working their way down and exploring to find the fish that they are after. Let's take a closer look at how the cards interact with the ship. So as you get the card, you decide, am I gonna get it for a specimen or am I gonna get it for the upgrade? So in this case, I decided to take it for an upgrade, so I put it on the left side of the card. I know that my tank can now hold one large or two small fish. And then as I was going along and collecting, I got this colacanth, and I'm going to collect it. And it counts as a small. I'm going to put it under this side of my card. All right, so I've got one small specimen, but I can do large, so I'm able to collect another small. I got the pelican eel on the way up, and now I have two specimens that I could bring. When I get back up to the research sh ship, I can unload those into there. These fish, okay, Stick. we've got a special group here that you can add into the game with the expansion. We've got these wild card fish. Uh, that you can include and load into your your research vessel or into your sub and bring back to the research vessel uh, and they can be uh, they're, they're wild cards for scoring and, and we'll show you some pictures of that all right and then there is another expansion that is with the creatures from the deep so we've got these giant ones we've got the plesiosaur uh, krakenos giant crab of course we've got a kraken so those could show up and they each have an effect that occurs if you're the research sub, sub that reveals uh, this creature from the deep when you are working your way up and down the column to collect fish. Ship can be, uh, can stay up here by the research station, the research ship, and you could do one turn and get a, an electrical charge. So if you run into a creature such as this, Instead of getting a bad effect, which could be, uh, where'd they go? You could end up popping a rivet on your ship. The electrical charge is spent, but you don't suffer the consequences of the attack. There are also these research tokens that are on the trench floor. And when you make it to the trench floor, you can collect one of these worth two points at the end of the game. It's another sub. You can do this as a solo game and running against the AI that's described in the rules as well. For the AI sub that you're going against, it has a programmed move. It's always trying to get the research tokens. 
And that kind of sets it up and makes it difficult for you to beat because if there are no more research tokens, game over. If you've popped two rivets, game over. If they run out of oxygen, then you can kind of get up to the top. Then you, you both score and see who's got the most points. Let's take a quick look over here. This is what's really cool. When you are unloaded and scoring at the end of the game, and let's get our scoring reference card here, you're gonna do things where you have runs. Two, three, four, five would be a run, right? In this case, different species or of a kind. So it's pairs, three of a kind, right? So of the same kind. So if I look at this scoring that I have here, and again, like I say, the cards are really neat the way you can just lay them out and you can see how your scoring goes. I can see here that I have a run of three, that's four points. I have a run of two, that is two points, so I'm at five. And then I have one of a kind, doesn't help me. Three of a kind, that's four. So I've got four and two is six and four is 10. And I've got a pair, that's another two for 12. And let's say I got this uh, wild card that we were talking about. There was just four of these. A wild card could let me take my of a, a run to four, which would give me, that's a three point jump, or I could have used it here and taken my of a kind, also to four of a kind, would have given me seven points uh, going that way. So I total up my score and then I'd go, oh, but I popped a rivet, so that's minus two. Um, and if I had research tokens as well, those would each be two points. But uh, I wanted to make sure you saw how the, the, the cool use of the cards uh, when you're grouping them together at the end for scoring, uh, it works out pretty cool. So that is scoring. It's a really a fun game. Pretty excited to get it actually and to see all the artwork that's been done. Uh, the Gameological Institute is working with this artist, Tristan Rosen, uh, on our games. And this was published by his company, Bright Light Games. So that's the Mariana Trench. Uh, this is the Kickstarter edition here. But this is a great, quick game. It's a, It's got a great challenge. It plays fast and is enjoyable to, to play over and over again. But great for travel, great for trips. Thanks for checking it out. Oh, and thanks, Skipper, for bringing this to us. Always glad to help the Institute. See ya, Tony.